Hello guys, welcome to Photoshop Tutorials. Subscribe to our channel for regular updates. In this tutorial we are gonna see how to pop up a normal picture of beautiful one. Like how some famous Instagram photographers do, the source files are given as a link in the description below. Let's get into the tutorial. Select the background layer and click on Controller Command J to duplicate a layer. Now click on Controller Command Shift A. To open Camera Raw so we have to perform some basic exposure adjustments. The main thing you have to do in Camera Raw is to cut the shadows and decrease the highlights to bring down all the overexposed areas. I'm decreasing the exposure a bit since the skin is exposed. The main objective of adjusting the basic settings is to make the picture look like an even light portrait. Moving on to HSL adjustments. Here you can find three tabs. Hues, Saturation, Luminance. By adjusting the hues, you can see the color changes happening on the subject or in the background, this is done just to pop up the background colors mostly. In saturation you can increase the vibrance of every single color in this picture. By adjusting the luminance, you can darken or lighten the color available in the picture. Hit on OK once you're done. So we've done the basic exposure and color adjustments, you can see the difference here. Opening a new selective colors adjustment layer to tone up the skin. Playing with the reds and yellows. OK this is fine. Click on Controller Command I to invert the layer mask and brush out the skin. OK we are done brushing. Opening a new selective colors adjustment layer. To tone up the surroundings of the subject. Select the skin tone layer mask, hold alt, click and drag it to selective color one layer. And click on control, I to invert the layer mask. So that the changes won't affect the skin. Just making the colors to pop up. Now let's do some local dodge and burn. Open a new layer, click on Shift, F5. On the dialog box select Contents option and click on 50% Gray, Blending Mode Normal and Opacity 100%. Hit on OK. Turn the Gray Layer Blending Mode to Soft Light. Select the Brush Tool, Masking Colors Black and White. Brush Setting Opacity 100%, Flow 1% or Changeable accordingly. 
Now select white and start dodging the subject. Only highlight the areas where you see lights on the subject. Once you're done with the dodge, select black and start burning, burn only the areas where you see shadows. A tip for the beginners. If you're in the starting stage of learning to dodge and burn, you can use two gray layers, one for dodge and one for burn. If you're a pro then you can go with a single layer. See that you cover all the areas in a subject. The more time you take the more effective output you will get. Ok let me speed up this process. Ok guys we are done with the local dodge and burn. Let's add some blush to the subject. Open a new layer and change the blending mode to soft light. Select the brush tool and choose red color from the color palette. Brush setting, opacity 100%, flow 1% or changeable accordingly. Start brushing on the nose and on the cheeks gently, if overdone. Decrease the opacity to look natural. Opening a new levels adjustment layer to make the eye color a bit dark and vibrant. Opening a new levels adjustment layer, increasing shadows, to make the texture of blush skin more visible.
just making it a bit dark so it will be more effective. Open a new channel mixer adjustment layer to make up overall tone for this picture. Most of the retouchers won't use this channel mixer, but this gives a color mix-up to the picture like, you have to balance the three bars to get a perfect tone, it has to be done very carefully, since the colors will be too much at overdone. Most of the professional retouchers use this to bring their unique tone. We are okay with this tone. The pink on her shades and headband got dull, let's layer mask that. And the white is also turned into blue, so let's brush that too. Open a new layer and turn the blending mode to soft light. We are gonna brush her lip since it's dull. Select pink and start brushing. Decrease opacity, if you feel that isn't natural. Let's move on to the final image tone boosting process. Select the topmost layer and click on, Controller Command, Shift, Alt, E to merge all the below layers to form a new layer. Now click on Controller Command, Shift A to open Camera Raw. Let's now boost up the image using Camera Raw. The final color grading plays a major role of fine tuning a picture. Most of the professionals will bring up their personal touch using this final tuning process. Ok now let's get into it. Adjusting the basic settings to see whether this will bring up something better. Moving on to curves to brighten the highlights and increasing the shadows to form a depth. Let's go to split toning which creates the final tone of the image. Ok this is fine for me.
We've come to the end of this tutorial, if you have any doubts you can ask them on the comments section below. Hope this tutorial was useful, hit on the like button if you like this video, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for regular updates.